I am so proud to introduce my solution for eco-friendly skincare. Meet Seed. It's designed to create a conscious connection between the use, consumption, and disposal of skincare products, creating a new normal for sustainable beauty. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Noir Skin, where I discuss all things sustainable beauty. My name is Chandra Davis. I'm a licensed esthetician here in Illinois, and I create innovative solutions for sustainable beauty. Today's video is a project update on the name change of the Noir Skin film products. So if you are familiar with me, you're familiar with my products and this journey, you may have heard me use the term uniceuticals once or twice before. Well, that is no more, my dear friends, that is no more, because as of June 1st, 2024, I have changed the name from Uniceuticals to Seed, and here is why. So this is the original Uniceuticals uh, film strip prototype that I developed, um, I guess about three years ago now. And my original concept for these products was to deliver a high dose of high active, high performing skincare ingredients in one film strip. This is a biodegradable film, film strip. It's water soluble. Um, you would add water to it, it would dissolve, and then it would become your facial product. And it was supposed to deliver these high active, high um, performing ingredients in skincare. Um, but since developing this going on now four years, my direction has changed for these products. They're no longer about delivering high active, high performing ingredients. It's kind of morphed into a spiritually conscious, uh, sustainably focused skincare brand, which the name Uniceuticals is great as it is, uh, considering I named it up. It's no longer fitting where the products are now, which is this little guy. So this is now called C, and it's S-E with the long vowel uh, sound over the E, I-D. And as you can see, the difference is quite large. <laughs> the original Uniceuticals obviously is this one film strip that you would use for your entire face. It is now morphed into this smaller film strip that you would also use for um, one use on the face. And this is the main difference between the two products is mainly the size, but the functionality and how it works is exactly the same. You would add water to this, it would dissolve, it becomes your facial cleanser or facial balm, depending on which product you get. And uh, you would apply it to your skin as you normally would any other skincare product. And that's how these work. But the difference between seed and uniceuticals is my intention. So my intention for Seed going forward is more about promoting a sustainable, eco-friendly skincare brand and really kind of bringing in like the spiritual consciousness of why you're using your products, how you're using your products and how you're disposing of them into the brand's mission. So this is obviously a lot smaller than the original one. And it's smaller in that it's a pre-measured dose, kind of like micro-dosing for those of you who are uh, familiar with the term. And it's all you need is just this one strip. So you're not overusing your skincare products. You're not over-consuming, which I've noticed a lot of my clients over the years have used far too much product, um, far more than what they actually need to get the job done. And I really wanted to hit on that with these products and letting people know you don't need as much product as you think you do to get the desired results that you want. The other thing about seed is that it is made of 100% plant-based ingredients, so it is renewable. And it kind of plays on the word seed, being from S-E-E-D, which are from uh, plants, vegetables, fruit seeds, things like that, um, given that it's all plant-based. And it's also stored in 100% paper-based packaging, which is also renewable. So from start to finish, this brand is really about promoting sustainability and eco-friendly consumption. The other thing I wanted uh, to do with these products is to make the disposal side of the packaging a lot easier. So if you are recycling at home or you're using plastic-based uh, packaged consumer good products, you already know the struggle of recycling and recycling properly. 
There are so many ways it can go wrong. You can do everything right by removing the labels from the bottles, cleaning out everything, separating the different types of materials, and taking it to the recycling center or your recycling bin. And there you have to hope, pray, and wish that it gets to the recycling center and is actually recycled. Um, unfortunately, that is not always the case, especially depending on where you live. Um, you can do all of that and your recycled waste can still end up in a landfill. So I really wanted to make sure that the products that I produce, I produced in good conscience knowing that the packaging or the afterlife of the packaging is not going to be harmful to the planet and the wildlife and everything else. So from start to finish, this brand is all about, again, just promoting that sustainable side and promoting a more spiritually in tune, if you will, uh, consumption based uh, consumption based skincare that makes sense yeah I'm gonna go with that so that is what seed is and overall I would like to seed a more conscious revolution um, in your use consumption and disposal of skincare products so that no one when they are consuming these products or they're buying these products or using these products whatever you're doing with them they aren't perpetuating the damage that is uh, happening with the climate crisis so that is seed that is my intention that is my why and that is what i hope to do which is to spark a more conscious connection in how you use consume and dispose of your skincare products going forward um what else what else oh yes if you are going to the website as of this as the, uh, as of the time of this recording you might still see Uniceuticals at certain points on the website. I am actually transitioning everything over from Uniceuticals to Seed, and it is taking some time. So please bear with me in that regard. Also, in the regard of the packaging itself, if you were to get your hands on the packaging once I actually launch, or not the packaging, but the products, once I actually launch them, it will have uniceuticals on the front. Unfortunately, I printed up <laughs> I printed up thousands of boxes <laughs> with uniceuticals on there. Um, but that was last year. I've changed the name this year, so I'm being kind to myself in that kind of regard for that mistake. But yes, it will say uniceuticals on there. It's still the same product. It's still what I've been working on this whole time. But once I actually reprint a new batch of product boxes, it will say seed instead of pharmaceuticals. But yeah, that is the project update and where I am right now with these products. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below, or you can reach out to me via email at hello at noirskin.com. And if you are in the Chicago area, um, please reach out to me. I will give you some free samples to try. Um, because I have been collecting feedback on these and the feedback has been absolutely amazing. So thank you to all of you who have um, left a review on these products. It was very, very helpful. And if you want to try it and get your hands on it before I launch, please reach out to me. The link for that is in the description box below, or you can just email me, whatever works for you. Um, so I will be back with another project update.